Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us discuss integration of PV array with the grid through an ETAP approach. As usual, let us build a sample network. Enable auto build. Let me take a 33 kV voltage. Go to the grid. Select a bus. 3 winding transformer and on on 3 winding transformer let's have a bus so this side again let's have one more bus and let's have one uh, PV array Let's uh, arrange this network. So this is 33 kV system. 33 kV. Let's take a short circuit current of 30 kilo amps. X by R ratio is 14. That's it. And here uh, you may have uh, 33 bar 0 0.690 kV both in uh, secondary as well as tertiary winding. So this is around uh, 2 MVA. Let me say 1 MVA in each secondary and tertiary winding impedance uh, you can take 5% between primary and secondary 5% between primary and tertiary and 10% between secondary and tertiary x by r ratio let me stick to 10 in all the three cases say for example grounding let me go for uh, delta star star grounded that's it this is uh, 0 0.690 and this is also 0 0.690 0 0.690 kv Then for sake of clarity, I am not connecting any cables here. Let me straight away go to PV. Uh, go to PV panel tab. So here library is there. You can select uh, your uh, manufacturer. I'll go for SunTech. I'll select this 600 volt maximum. Maximum DC. So click OK. Then you can see uh, power of 2006 watts. Okay. Then voltage maximum is about 28.22. That is voltage at maximum power point. 28.22 volt. And uh, corresponding current at maximum power point 7.3 amps. Uh, those values you can um, see it here this is voltage at maximum power is around uh, 28.22 and here the corresponding current around 7.3 here and uh, uh, VOC IEC that is open circuit voltage so open circuit voltage is 33.56 that you can able to see here in power versus voltage curve this is 33.56 is open circuit voltage that means when no load is connected 
short circuit current 8.19 that you can see here 8.19 the short circuit current when uh, uh, terminals are shorted right then you go to PV array I want to develop a series parallel combination of uh, this uh, PV panels so that I can able to formulate PV array so say for example I'm going for uh, about 200 kilowatt power increase series connected panels your voltage as well as power will increase let me increase this to 24 so that approximately I'll get a DC voltage of 677 and uh, parallel uh, you can increase parallel now you can see uh, amps and power increases so let me increase this to about some 48 so that I may get approximately 237.3 kilowatt amps of 350 amps then you go to inverter uh, here whatever the value we have selected DC voltage of 677 kilowatt of uh, 237 about uh, uh, 350 amps DC then you go for inverter inverter rating is uh, based on your kilowatt here so I just say I have DC up 237 approximately I'm fixing here 237 so that I may get 213 kVA inverter output and similarly here voltage I got about uh, 677 so I'll fix it to 650 here so this is the voltage voltage on AC side is as you noticed uh, in the secondary side of transformer is 0 0.690 let me stick to 0 0.690 here okay. then the rest of the values are as it is efficiency throughout uh, the load operation of 25 percent to 100 efficiency is 90 percent and uh, power factor is 100 minimum 80 percent maximum 100 percent you can also change a rated power factor let me fix it to 95 percent 95 percent power factor you can able to see the corresponding change here as well as here right then press. then go to short circuit uh, model uh, short circuit is fixed 150 amps when the short circuit occurs you may get 150 times that is one 150 percent of uh, total current that is about 260 amps okay that's it similarly i want one more array i am copy pasting this pv array here so both have same rating and now let me run load flow let me cross check the result load flow is running so now you can see the result here so voltage maintained at this bus is 100.1 percentage with an angle of minus 29.7 and same as another bus also because we have connected same uh, uh, rated PV okay then if you want to see the voltage exactly approximately 0.69 kV okay. then uh, what is the real power away from this PV 0.21 megawatt 0.21 megawatt is the real power coming out of this PV array so put together 0.42 moving towards grid you could see here 0.42 which is moving towards the grid okay. then uh, let me open one of this PV array what is the AC output you could see 0.21 megawatt this 23 point sorry 
213.3 kVA is what represented here in terms of uh, megawatt that is 0 0.21 0 0.21 uh, megawatt even you can exactly match this value when you go for uh, MVA uh, in fact KVA value alone available yes go for KVA approximately 210.4 KVA 420.6 KVA that is what you could see it here 213 instead of that 210.4 KVA so because of uh, power factor and efficiency all put together we are getting 210.4 KVA out of this one then what about the current let me check the current also 176 amps again uh, let me open one of this check it 176 amps here approximately 178 amps so this is what coming out of this pv array then uh, when we go for uh, uh, short circuit let me run short circuit here so in fact no bus is faulted let me make fault on now uh, all bus all bus is faulted now run short circuit let us see what is a short circuit contribution from pv array so from pv array we are getting about 0.268 kilo ohms that is 268 amps so once again you can uh, see the inverter uh, go to short circuit model uh, we have set 150 percent 268 amps okay so mostly inverter is contributing uh, 1.5 times separated current so that is 268 so that is what uh, you could see it here on either of this case short circuit current contribution from upstream is 30 kilo ohms since we set short circuit current here as 30 kilo ohms so put together on bus number 4 uh, that is uh, uh, this 0.69 kV bus you are getting 32.905 kilo ohms and so as uh, the second case also because similar rated PV is connected here. So from this example you can understand how to use PV array for load flow and short circuit analysis in ETAP. Uh, while coming for next session, we will discuss some more interesting topics. Till then, bye-bye.